Our series tracking a murder, investigative reporter Mike Pearlstein showed how an ankle monitor's GPS signal helped to identify a triple murder suspect. And now Mike has been given exclusive access to another electronic trail following the city's first murder of 2024. Only this time it was being worn not by the suspect, but the victim. Hard. And it just a sad situation that this happened to him like this. And I know he wanted better. He wanted better out of life. Despite his lifestyle, Roderick was close to his tight knit family, including the childhood sweetheart who, at the time of his death at age 28, had become his fiance. You wake up every day looking for that person and thinking he's going to walk through the door. Like, no, he's not coming back. The first sign of trouble came in the form of electronic dots on a computer screen at ASAP, a company that uses electronic monitoring to track criminal defendants free on bail. Rodrigo was awaiting trial on a charge of distribution of marijuana. Uh, we receive at 927 in the morning an alert for a tamper of the ankle monitor. That alert set off a chain of events that quickly led to valuable clues for police and dismay for Rodrigo's family. No answer, no answer. I text them, no answer. I called them over 200 times and it was going to straight to voicemail. At the same time, Matt and Jill Dennis at ASAP had already been collecting pieces of the puzzle using the electronic trail that started at this house on Salem Drive in New Orleans East with the tamper alert and ended at a dumpster a few blocks away. That's where they found the device that had been cut off of Rodrigue's ankle. We brought it to our office to begin the next phase, which is pressing charges for escape. The bracelet was inside Rodrigue's backpack, along with court papers, a shoe, and smeared with a trace of blood, his cell phone. Hours later, when Rodrigue didn't arrive to pick up his fiance at work, she called ASAP. I hit her straight up. I said, so you mean to tell me you didn't help him escape today? And when I said those words to her, she screamed and she said, oh my God, my baby's dead. I knew something happened to him. Like that was, that was my biggest fear that I wouldn't hear from him again. There's no way he, he would have cut his ankle monitor off himself. And those marks made it clear it was done from behind and underneath them. So it meant he was laying down and somebody was doing it, but not him. First, police found the fiance's car with blood in the driver's seat. Then, using GPS to track Roderick's final hours, police located a security camera that captured a gunshot at the exact time and location where the bracelet had been cut off. We can tell you the only place that makes a logical sense for it to have occurred, and it's all based on dots. Those dots tell the story. A little after nine, the gunshot. 9.20, the cutting of the ankle monitor, 9.50, leaving that address on Salem to dump the device. There's no doubt that we knew this man was dead, and all we have left to do was find his body. But without that body, New Orleans police could only issue this missing person bulletin, and they asked for help locating this person of interest, Joseph McInnes, a friend and frequent companion of Roderick. Are good? So this is where it all went down, right here. It was behind this abandoned apartment building that the decomposed body of Eddie Rodri was found right here on New Year's morning, 17 days after he was reported missing. Police were alerted to the spot after a stolen car was wrecked there. Here's a photograph of the car, along with the mattress on the left that covered Rodrigue's body. It just hurt. It hurt. I know he didn't expect that person to do that to him. So what about Joseph McInnes, the earlier person of interest? Since the case turned into a homicide investigation, he's now gone missing. He was a no-show for a February 21st court date in a pending burglary case against him, prompting the judge to issue a warrant for his arrest. And now, multiple sources say there is an additional warrant for McInnes, this one in connection to the killing of Eddie Rodrigue. We love Eddie. We want the best for Eddie. Electronic monitoring was able to quickly turn a 
missing person case into a homicide investigation. But the technology could only go so far. We can't get him back, but the least we can get is closure and justice. That's what we want, justice for Eddie. Mike Perlstein, WWL, Louisiana. Crime Stoppers is offering a $5,000 reward for tips leading to an arrest. You can call them at 504-822-1111. You can remain anonymous. A bill to